Hello, I am Mel with Soulful and welcome to today's Chair Yoga Flow. This is excellent to use if you are tight on space or maybe you just feel that you need to take a break from work and move that body a little bit. If you're really enjoying these videos, please subscribe to the channel and of course share with others who would enjoy this as well. I am currently 26 weeks pregnant and if you are expecting as well, I would love to hear in the comments below about your journey and connect with you. This video is also perfect if you are not expecting. So of course, share with somebody else who would find this beneficial. Let's go ahead and begin this awesome practice together today. Meet me in a nice standing position if you're not already there. We're gonna begin in mountain pose. I'm gonna face you so you can see me a little better. So go ahead and rock back and forth ever so gently, finding the placement in the feet. And when you find that placement, go ahead, flatten the feet. Palms can go down by the side, maybe facing up towards the sky. Close the eyes. Feel the shoulders relax away from the ears. Making sure you're pressing into the outside blades of the feet, not collapsing into the arches. And you can take some deep cleansing breaths, or maybe you connect with a strong, victorious Ujjayi breath, where you inhale and exhale through the nose, creating space in the back of the throat. This audible breath reminds many of the ocean and maybe it does for you. For today's practice, my yogi friend, let's set an intention of using a positive affirmation throughout your practice today. This is something I personally have incorporated daily into my pregnancy and have found very beneficial. So whatever it is, the first word that comes to you, that is what you need today. And you're welcome to repeat this a few times in your mind. Or remembering that words carry a vibrational energy, so maybe you choose to say it out loud. using that I am statement. Take two more breaths here. And great job. Gently open the eyes. If your feet are not already at least hip distance apart, go ahead and make sure you find the placement there, maybe even walking them a little wider if you feel you need a little more balance today. Let's inhale, reach up together. Bring the palms together if it's accessible or you can make that nice little yogi grip here with the thumbs together and the pointer fingers up to the sky. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Feel that string pulling you taller. Exhale, guide the body over to the right. Now, if having this grip is not working for you today, you can simply have those cactus arms. Always honoring yourself in that range of motion. Inhale, come up center. Exhale, guide it over to the left now, really rooting into both feet, into the earth, keeping the shoulders in line. Inhale, come center. Exhale, take it over to the right once more. Maybe you notice a little deeper of a stretch. Inhale, come up. Exhale, guide it over to the left, really enjoying this lateral stretch in the spine. Yoga is all about the spine. Inhale, come up. This time, release the arms and just gently sway side to side. Just loosening up that low back, letting go of any tension you may be carrying. 
and drop the hands down just shake the arms out let it all go here good good work all right if you're not already facing that chair please go ahead and do so now we are going to inhale reach up feet stay at least hip distance width apart exhale forward fold option to keep the legs straight or bend the knees here if you need to inhale halfway lift come up on the fingertips exhale forward fold take it a little deeper inhale halfway lift come up on the fingertips if you need to exhale forward fold again taking that stretch a little deeper one more inhale come up exhale forward fold beautiful job press into the palms come into a flat tabletop back bend the knees still if you need to and let's enjoy some nice cat cows inhale gently drop the belly not too much here gaze looks up sternum as well up to the sky exhale press towards the chair protracting through the shoulders like you're pushing the chair into the earth inhale drop the navel down gaze goes up just be mindful not creating too much extension in that spine and low back exhale let your breath guide you go in to that cat really stretching that mid back the thoracic part of the spine one more inhale drop the belly beautiful work gaze goes up shoulders away from the ears exhale press the chair away deepen that stretch a little more maybe tucking the chin slightly to the chest as well and come back to that neutral flat back great job let's bend that right knee right palm comes into the center of the chair gently rotate open towards the left side now if you were expecting like me really make sure you're keeping the hips and that lower lumbar spine all forward we don't want to crowd baby in there if you're not expecting and you're enjoying this video you're welcome to rotate that left rib cage open towards the sky as much as it is comfortable for you today pressing that chair away i'm not dumping and collapsing into that right arm one more breath and exhale take it back center straighten that right leg left palm comes on the inside of the center of that chair bend that left knee now inhale rotate over towards the right side that right palm can come on that low back or reach up towards the sky that dristy that gaze can be looking up or down towards the earth as i mentioned earlier Yoga is all about the spine, and certainly during pregnancy, it's important to keep that six range of motion there. The extension and flexion, what's the cat cows? We had the lateral, which is what we began with in the mountain side to side pose. And now that rotation, and that is going to help maximize movement and capacity in that lung space, which we need and bring it back center right palm meets the left and take a moment to just pedal out the knees loosening up the hips here good good work now we're going to go into a modified chair uh, sun salutation so let's inhale ground into the feet reach up exhale hands heart center samaste tihi let's begin inhale reach up Urvahastasana. exhale hinge forward bend the knees if you need to hands come down to the seat inhale halfway lift flat back exhale step the feet back any amount is a good amount if you were expecting the feet go a little wider about mat width distance exhale lower down bend the elbows inhale guide yourself up for that cobra modified or up dog again feet can be closer in bend the knees exhale press it back for that down dog you're pressing the heels down to the earth really feel the glutes and the hips opening here take a moment maybe we pedal the legs together good work that gaze is looking back in the horizon 
Inhale, look between the hands. Come on the tippy toes, walk towards the chair. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe you bend the forearms towards the chair. Inhale, reach up, Urvastasana. Exhale, hands, heart center, Samaste to He. Good job. Inhale, let's reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Again, bending the knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, come up flat back. Exhale, step the feet back, hold that plank position. Exhale, elbows bend, lower yourself down. Inhale, guide yourself up for that modified cobra up dog movement. Exhale, let the breath guide you. Take it back to that down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Maybe you take that stretch a little deeper here. Maybe you walk the palms closer to the back of the chair, really deep in that stretch in that mid back. This is certainly a place I seem to carry a lot of tension. One more breath. Look between the hands. Come up on the tippy toes. Walk towards the chair. Inhale, halfway lift, feet are flat. Exhale, forward fold, maybe deepening that stretch. Still option to bend the knees. Inhale, rise, reverse swan dive, reach up. Exhale, hands, heart center, Samaste to He. Good work, one more. Inhale, let's reach up, my friend. Exhale, forward fold, beautiful. Take your time, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, hold that plank position. Exhale, lower the elbows in towards the rib cage. Inhale, sweep it up, guide yourself up. Modified Cobra up dog, be mindful of the belly and that low back. Exhale, take it back. Down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasa, keeping the legs wide, always making room for baby here. Good work. Take another breath. Bending the knees here, pedaling out the legs, honoring whatever you need in this moment. Look between the hands. Come up on the tippy toes, walk the feet towards the chair. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, navel still to spine. Take it down, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reach up, Urvastasana. Exhale, hands heart center, Samaste to He. Changing it up, here we go. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold. Notice the difference between when you started. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, bring that right foot forward. Left foot steps back. Your heel is down to the earth. You have a slight rotation in that hip. Inhale, guide yourself up for that high lunge. The hips are squared forward here. Take a moment, take a breath. Great job. Now, we're gonna step that left foot back a little more, externally rotate the hip open for a triangle. That right leg is still currently bent. If it's accessible, lengthen that right leg. Now, gaze looks over those right fingertips. Reach those right fingertips like you're reaching past the chair. Notice the pelvic tilt here. And then exhale, right hand comes down to the chair, left arm reaches up towards the sky. Again, still bending that right knee if that's what you need today. Really making sure you're pressing into the blade of that left foot. Feeling that rotation, that left rib cage rotating up towards the sky. One more breath, that juristi can be up or looking down towards that right hand. Going into half moon, take your variation here. Bending that right knee, grounding into that right foot. Lift that left leg back, lengthening that right leg as well as the left and keeping that rotation open towards the side. Option, if it's not working for you today to lift that left foot, you can just bring more 
Weight into that left foot and keep it lower down to the earth. Just try it. That's all I ask. Great job. One more breath here. You're doing amazing. And bend that right knee. Lower that left foot back down. Come back into that triangle pose. Great, great job here. Now, we're gonna square the hips towards the chair. Walk that left foot forward. You have a 45 degree angle in that foot. So your hips are now in that internal rotation and we're going into a pyramid pose variation. You still keep that nice, tall, long spine here. Let's reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hip creases. Long spine, heart energy shines forward, palms can come down to the chair. You can bend that right knee if that's what you need today or join me in keeping the legs straight and walking the forearms down to the seat of the chair. This might be a little too deep today for you. That is a-okay. Always honoring where you are every single day will be different. One more breath. You look amazing. And bend that right knee. Palms come back to the chair if you were on the forearms. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. Pedal the legs. Shake it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands heart center, samaste to he. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, keeping the feet wide. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, yogi, step that, excuse me, right foot back. Plant the heel down to the earth, 45 degree angle. Inhale, come up for that high lunge. Great job. Reaching the fingertips up towards the sky, keeping that tall spine. Good work. Hips are still squared forward as much as accessible for you today. One more breath here. You've got it. You look amazing. Stay with me. On your exhale, let's externally rotate that hip open, still keeping that left leg bent. Now, this time, your arms are going out wide. We're going into triangle. Lengthen that left leg and hold. Find your placement. Reach those fingertips towards the back of the chair, noticing that pelvic tilt. Exhale, now that left hand goes down to the chair. Right arm is reaching up towards the sky. If it's not accessible to reach those right fingertips up, you can place them gently on the hips. Still bending that left knee. Any amount is a good amount, whatever you need today. Really focus on rotating that right rib cage up towards the sky. One more breath here. Squeezing that right thigh, pressing into the blade of that right Foot. Let's bend that left knee going into that half moon. You've got it. Place all of that energy in that left foot as you come up and lift that right foot off of the earth, lengthening both legs as much as you can, kicking that right heel away from you. If this is not accessible today, still the option to keep that right leg lower down to the earth. One more breath, you're amazing. You've got it right here, squeezing that right thigh. Bend that left knee, bring that right foot down to the earth, come back into that triangle pose. This time we're bringing the hands to the hips. You're walking that right foot now into the left, coming towards the chair. We now have that internal rotation of the hips. The hip bones are squared towards the chair. Here we go, we're going into that pyramid pose. Inhale, let's reach up. Exhale, hinging at those hip creases again. Long string, long spine, heart energy shining forward. Palms come down to the chair. Option to bend that left knee. If you need to, you can stay here or join me, Yogi, in bringing those forearms down to the chair. Now notice here, both sides of the body will feel different. Check in. 
don't forget your positive affirmation. If you have found yourself wandering away from this practice, bring your attention back to the breath, to the movement, by that positive affirmation. One more breath here. You're doing absolutely incredible. And if you were on those forearms with me, come to the palms, press yourself up, walk that right foot in to meet the left, still staying hip distance apart, pedal the legs, shake it out. Good job. And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reach up. Exhale, hands heart center. Sama stay to he. We're gonna do a quick yogi squat here. And so you're gonna bring the feet wide, probably wider than your mat, using the chair to guide you. And you're gonna kind of bring the heels in a little bit. Oh, I noticed a difference on my left side today. There we go. So find your placement in the chair. And if you have issues with your heels touching the earth, that's okay. You can roll up a towel, use a sweater, whatever you need to lift those heels. And you're still sitting nice and tall. You still have that string coming out of the crown of the head, heart shining towards the chair. And just breathe. We're gonna start to slow our practice down today. Giving gratitude for this body that just moved for us. Giving gratitude for the breath that gives us life. One more breath. And gently come to those forearms a little more towards the chair. Come up on the toes and guide yourself up. Great work. Keeping the toes and knees, hips all towards the chair. Take that left leg out to the side, bend into that right knee, right hip. From the side view, it'll look like this. I'll turn that way so you can see a little better. Just opening those hip flexors a little more. A lot of times we can have some low back issues from tight hip flexors. Also, fun fact, when you are stretching the inner thigh, you are also stretching that pelvic floor. And let's switch it to the other side. Distribute the weight now into that left foot. That right leg will stay straight. Again, keeping the toes and knees all in the same direction. This one is really hitting home with me today. I hope it is for you too. And bring it back center. Walk the feet in, again about hips distance apart. Walk that left foot now closer to the chair. Right foot goes back, pressing the heel down to the earth for a nice calf stretch here today. And if it's too much to be on those forearms and you need to make more room for baby or it's just not in your flexibility, you can come up on those palms. And walk that right foot in and let's take that left foot back, bending that right knee that left heel goes down to the earth. Ooh, so good. Almost done with today's practice. Thank you again so much for being here. I really, really enjoy putting these videos together. And I actually reference them a lot for my personal use too. So it really is a win-win. But again, if you're loving these, please leave in the comments below what you enjoyed about the practice and certainly if you have any other ideas of different videos that you need support in your journey I would love to help and let's bring that left foot in again pedal the legs shake out any tension moving the upper body the shoulders let it all go and gently turn around come up 
have a seat on the chair. We're going to end with our final stretch here today in a figure four. So that right ankle is going to cross on top of that left knee. That left foot is flat on the floor. Now, depending on your flexibility, you may need to make some adjustments here. Coming up fully on that left thigh just might not be serving you today and that's okay. So make the adjustments necessary. Maybe you do need to take this down to the floor and then you can also, if you need to be in the chair and that's better for you, you can walk that left foot out and that will definitely make that stretch less intense. So if this is good here and you want to take it a little deeper, just guide that heart towards the legs. Still keeping room for baby and belly, always being mindful. And gently come up. Let's go ahead and switch it out. Right foot comes down, left ankle comes on top of that left knee. And again, go wherever you may and wherever is serving you. For me, it's feeling oh so incredibly good to deepen this a little more. We start to slow down and prepare for what some believe is the hardest part of their yoga practice, and that is Savasana. And that is because Savasana is intended to sit in stillness. And for a lot of people, stillness is scary and stillness is very difficult. So I encourage you here in just a moment to stay as long as you can and enjoy that quiet time. And let's gently guide that body up. Both feet flat on the floor. Gently take the knee side to side. A little seated windshield wiper here, bringing that spine back to neutral. And when you're ready, my friend, find yourself in a nice seated position. If you would like to stay here a while, you're welcome to pause this video. If you feel you need more receiving energy, the palms can be up on the thighs. If you feel you need more grounding energy, the hands can go down. Or if you're expecting, this is a beautiful time to connect with baby. So you can place the hands on the belly. Let's close the eyes. Savasana. Again, I highly encourage you to stay here as long as your time allows, at least for five minutes or so. But if you were joining me now, gently begin to wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingertips. Gently move the wrist and open the eyes and fully welcome yourself back to your space. Thank you again so, so much for joining me for today's Chair Yoga Flow. I hope you really enjoyed it, but more importantly, I hope that you really savored the expression of that positive affirmation that you brought into your practice today. Always remembering that our thoughts actually really do have the power to create our reality. So know that you can always bring that positivity back in your environment. Let's bring those hands heart center and then up to the third eye, the thumbs. The light in me honors the light in you. I bow to you in Namaste. 
Thank you again so, so much for choosing to press play and flowing with me today. If you're enjoying these, of course, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notifications button so you are notified when all of this amazing new content continues to come out. I look forward to flowing with you and seeing you again oh so soon. Have an incredible day.